And welcome back. Our next story takes place in northern Georgia and involves rocks, a rock seller, and an endless pursuit to stay in business in spite of difficult times. You'll decide if this is America's public enemy number one or simply an unassuming victim. Our very own John Howard covered the story. John, over to you. When it comes to rock knowledge, apparently no one knows more than Winslow Ferguson, a rock harvester in northern Georgia. I mean, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I'm, I'm probably one of the leading experts on digging up rocks. Whether he knows it or not, Winslow may be the face of America's new mafia. Chew it, boy, look at that one. Another good one. Is that good? The rock's fine and all that? Okay. All right, I'm ready. Go? Okay. My name is Winslow Ferguson, and I'm a third generation rock seller in northern Georgia. So basically I harvest all my own rocks in my yard or I go to the national forest and do it and then I try to sell them to anyone who's interested in buying them. I think like for most people 2020 has been pretty rough. I mean ain't nobody want no rocks when there's a national pandemic going on you know what I mean. So after struggling for a while I was walking up from my backyard and noticed my American flag and it's like old glory spoke to me right then. I decided I was going to color some of them rocks blue like the blue in the American flag. I got my cousin Cletus, who's pretty good with computers, uh, to sell them on that thing called eBay. I mean, Jimmy New Cricket, what you know, boy, I done sold five boxes of them rocks in no time. Hey, you got one of them fancy phones that plays videos? go, man, you rich or something? This phone's huge. Now, my cousin Cletus showed me this video. You need some help there, Winslow? Nah, I got it. Oh, here it is, here it is, check this out. I yeah, you need to zoom in. You need to zoom in on this. Zoom in on this. Ready? Now this here is in Portland, Oregon, and they throw in the rocks that I sold to them. Can you believe it? Some group called Antifa or something like that. Well, they're throwing the rocks that I supplied to them. So I think to myself, self, there's red in that daggum flag too. Let's make some red ones as well. Hey boy. Hey. Hey. Let me see that big phone thing again. Okay. All right, let me, let me find this here one. It's still so small. Why is this so complicated? Yeah, my cousin showed this to me. Every one of them jokers bought one of my red rocks. <clears throat> hey, thanks for that. You know, they were raiding the Capitol, right? What's that? They were invading the Capitol. Hey, listen, I don't judge no one. What they do with my rocks is none of my business. But my business is doing good, you know what I'm saying there, boy? <laughs> Nah, nah, I'm just, nah, just kidding. So there's also white in the flag. Did you make any white rocks? And you done spoke the truth. I made some of them white rocks as well. And I named them Liberty Terra Rocks. You know, Terra is that fancy word for Earth. So I abbreviate them my Libertarian Rocks. And are people buying these white rocks? Ah, oh, heck no, man. I, I guess anyone that would buy them things has got their life in order. and They ain't smashing the windows, you know what I mean? <laughs> And lastly, I made these, these Constitution rocks, where I literally wrap the Constitution around a rock, and I, I call it the Constitution Rocks. So are people buying these things and smashing big windows or something? Now, I, I sold a few to some people, but I heard they just throw them right out the window. You, you know, throw them at their friends when they're acting stupid, just chuck it out the window and hit them, you know, right in the head. Wake them up a little bit, you know, just just playing games, you know how it is. So, so I can't complain, you know, you know, 2021 is shaping up to be pretty good for old Winslow Ferguson. I, I mean, who knows, I might even make a red, white, and blue rock to give out to people to show how America is like a, a unified country, you know? That's awesome, Winslow. <laughs> nah, I just kidding, man. That's, that's a joke. That ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> oh, you funny. Winslow Ferguson perhaps the smartest fool in 2021, and hopefully not the personification of things to come this year. I'm literally speechless. Looks like America's in a whole load of dog poo if this guy's thriving during these times. John, as always, thanks for your excellent reporting. For our next story, who is this individual stealing podiums from our nation's capital? Well, turns out he may be a distant cousin to our very own Winslow Ferguson. That story and more after the break. 